Hi everyone, I'm Clue, and we're back for some more Soda Dungeon. So, I decided to just do the initial run straight from the get-go to get us some starting gold as well as some levels. I was hoping for some equipment. We didn't really get much. A few magic rings, which was good. But other than that, it's pretty awful. But now we can go ahead and do the auto battles and breeze through the early game. Although, lots of people want to have conversations, apparently. And go do them in order. So, yeah. The big bad of this world is the Dark Lady for a change. Right, what is this? Prevents enemy back attack bonus. Uh, so I don't think this is one that's necessary. We'll see. I know there's one. I think it's status effect, or I might be misremembering, and that's from the first Soda Dungeon. But anyway, we have to get to... Well, we have to clear a thousand dungeon levels. I'm not sure if the auto battle works for that. Mail from the Dark Lady. Yeah. What do you have to say? We need two demon horns. Some upgrade material. Anything else? So he's apparently smitten with her. Right, so we can upgrade crit. I don't think that's too important at the moment. Uh, what do we get? Reflection, resistance, or or is still useful. So is XP. All right, I'm a bit OCD. Uh, resistance, or sorry, reflection. Right? Yeah. Not too useful till the later game. Because for the most part, if we're getting hit, we're losing. So we'll probably just save them for now, it looks like. Yeah, and we'll worry about the team. So I'm going to turn auto off. Or it is off. Good. So it is. We want to grab Dark Mages. This is a bit too sensitive for me. That's about it. Miners and Carpers, I don't think are necessary. At the moment, we're just going to... Breeze through a bunch of auto battles. So actually, we do want to equip on. So I just want to power these. Uh, so you. Dark Mage, Dark Mage, Dark Mage, Huntress, and a Thief. Perfect. See how good we do. Auto on, key settings. Should be fine. Just cares about healing mana. Warps and mine shafts. Okay. We can get up to 300. Ooh, one shy. Interesting. 19 refunded. I'm not sure how the math works there. You get the first 20 for free, maybe? Levels, but we're more interested in the equipment. I think 50 is the cap, so getting pretty close on the nurse. Well, close to We're a bit over halfway. Ooh, perfect. Some gold shields. 74k. Pretty good. Won't have to do too many. And save some of the tokens for the next world. But I'll probably be gone a little bit again. Some personal stuff to do. Mainly moving. Right. Same thing again. Worse. Fine. More gold though. Good equipment again. Clovers. Need to be checking the shop. Always forget. Want to buy all of them. Don't want anything else from you. Just yet. Does this count? No. That's an issue. Uh, we can do the spare change though. It's the mailbox, 750. Nothing. I'm trying to get a grasp on stuff. What we're getting. Has been, I think, a week since I last played, fortunately. Uh, we do want the pug, so 500k. It's probably doable this world. 
keep cracking at it. Nurse, nurse. Missing the teeth. There we go. Would like to swap out your shields though. Maximize gold gain. Ninety-eight. Five this time. Ah, you know what it must be. It warps. Lucky into warps. Makes more sense. Curse. Perfect. A lot of gold. It's really nice. Another gold shield. But curse. What exactly are you? Attempts to turn the tank to stone. Not what I was thinking. Who else is near? The thief. So 24, well I think you can see actually. I click on you? Yeah, so ransack is yours, which is actually quite good. Mainly because of the item steal. And well, the 1.2 times attack is good as well. I think the carpenters is the big one. Sharpen, is it? 100% crit. Yeah, so just stacking Sharpen into his main attack. Can't see it on this screen. Uh, which deals the most physical damage, I want to say, out of anything. Do you not have a skill? Oh, big bit. And makes Tug turn around here. So there's some interesting mechanics. Uh, I don't think they're too worthwhile on large groups and considering around half the game is large groups. A bit pointless, they're mainly for bosses. What's yours? Accuracy is just stun. Yeah, so I think we have the main ones. Recharge. That might be decent to work in. But yeah, so at 50 is their class relics, which is the big thing you're trying to get to. For the most part, we're just... Trying to get to world 10, I want to say, is the, like, free play mode. You don't reset yet. Probably the last one we need to do before we start grinding. Out another long run. Should buy the gnome upgrade for the bar though, so we can get more essence. Should be able to get the pug though. Would be the main thing. But I don't think pets level up from the auto battle either. Just like the quest, because they're all set to... I don't even find the right one. Yeah, that'll do. To level up per fight, so to speak. We will grab the essence gnomes. Uh, another one, it's 250. Rather the pug. Tiresome. Two more. Seven now. Another hundred and twenty, please. Hundred forty. Even better. Should have enough to buy the pug and Bill get our team. Just want to check. The melee one is set to their best skill, I hope. Yeah, strongest stack. So it should trigger the thief to use ransack more often, which will be good. We'll go ahead and buy ourselves the pug. Damage reduction is also a decent one. But I think you just want the pug and then 
Angel. So, magic damage. Definitely equip you, which you already are. Awesome. 100 battles until next level. So you should be able to manage that. So I'm going to turn auto off now. And we'll assemble our team. And I'll equip them. And then we'll try and tackle blade floors. I think 600 was where we have to get to for 6. That makes chronological sense. World 1 was 100 and so forth. So yeah, so we're already halfway there. It shouldn't be too hard to get to the, the top. Uh, I'll probably just stick with the normal combo. I think for real long runs though, leveling a Mystic is probably important to get that recharge. 20k for you. Do I have another slot? No, I can pay. Probably keep... Oh, it doesn't really matter. Where was the coat hanger? 250. So I do want to also unlock that. It's a big one because then I don't have to go through the menu like I do every single time. Uh, we want the thief first now. Right, so I'm going to equip them and then we'll come back. Right, fairly simple. And maximizing gold while retaining the Dark Mage's damage. Uh, not too sure if we're going to paper off just yet with their group attacks and we have to swap to melee. For now though, we'll just try with the Dark Mages. Magic rings, uh, anything to boost their MP essentially. Hopefully we should be able to get to 400, I want to say, of this team. Anyway, we'll give it a go. Again, I'll probably just come back at the end of the run and we'll just worry about the last few major levels dealing with the boss. Try and cut down on the episode length a bit. Right, so we actually did a lot better than I was thinking we would. Uh, some pretty good items, mainly equipment wise. Accessories, not so much, and materials, meh. But we almost got to 500. So we're very close to just clearing this world. That was only half an hour as well. Right, people to talk to first. Use Nailed It and Powers Up Nailed It, which is terrific. Uh, probably something we'll work on in the next world though, not this one. What do you have to say? Well, we can just turn that one in straight away. Anything else to turn in? Nope. Need to find some rubies. What do you got for us? Take the gold. Grab the crystals. We probably craft stuff. Uh, but we're most likely just leaving it till the next run. And hopefully our little take it with us perk sort of comes into play. We can probably get to 500k pretty easy once this world's over. Uh, so probably about time to swap to the damage. To melee damage. Now it is 2x and I think the upgraded is 3. Might be wrong but pretty sure. No so nurse. We don't want the Dark Mages this time around, we want Blade Master. Ooh, there's another one hiding in the back. Oh, then a thief. And the Huntress for the cooldown proc. Need the this tagged on the end, reduced by skill cooldown by one. Otherwise Blade Masters are quite useless. Because they attack and then can't attack. Upgrade-wise, 100k is not much. Probably do some leveling up, though. It's mainly the golden shields are what we want. Uh, we only need three maxed out. Two. Three. Upgrade them all a couple times if I can remember which way you're clicking. So this way is lesser. I gotta remember that. Anyway, so a six and two fives. Yeah, that'll do. Weapon wise, max. You sort of. 
I can roll. Maybe tell him any other. Five and a four. Five and a four. Blade of Virtue. This way. This way. This way. Right. Close enough. Once again, I'll do the equipment. Won't make you sit through it. So I'll probably think about a few things. Right, so that should be comp. I've maximized damage reduction for the most part. And then there are main attackers. Not a lot of slots though. The gem slots, I mean, weapon wise. Would be nice to have a bit more crystals, but nothing we can do about it. Uh, we can upgrade some relics, probably attack. That's what we're mainly focusing on. 18, 20. Probably health as well. We can get to 20. 36 left. Crit at this point. It's a little bit. I think that's 25% chance. 150. 3, 10 is 1%. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, this should be the comp. Pretty sure we could almost push to the final boss. But I'll probably cut this one out too. And it'll probably be the run after this. That's the clencher. So, see you then. So a pretty good run, almost to 600, and a few standout stuff, like star gems. Awesome amount of stats off a gem right there. The 5% or any of the percent stuff obviously outscale it in the long run, but like power creep wise, awesome to get. Uh, some stars, not too useful. Any good ringets? No, but more axes. So I think this next run should probably be the kicker. We go to the blacksmith, see what we can buy. Damage reflection. It's good. Smith and crystals, good. Oop, was it already set to all? Perfect. Uh, weapons and armor. That's the question. So we can make a vampire suit. Don't think it's needed at this point. The only thing that worries me is if we actually really need the turtle shell, this one. So I don't want to grind out a thousand dungeons, especially since we're so close. But we'll probably grab our comp. That doesn't matter what order, since they're not auto-equipping. Hopefully we have enough. The main thing that uh, ruined the last run was not enough mana. The nurse sort of just died off. That. I'll equip him and we'll come back. Right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty good on gear except for armor. <laughs> the little chainmail. <laughs> and the off putting. I think all we have to do now is upgrade. Oh, sorry. Level up. Uh, definitely the axes. Any that need blue. There's another one. The one that needs three. Ooh, misclick. That's right. Anything else? I don't remember. We have two, so that should be upgraded. Frog shield. Definite. Three of them upgraded. Won't worry so much about the armor, maybe the damage reduction ones. But anyway, this comp should be good enough. Oh, cool. Do need to also try out the Primal Lands, which is the new area. Probably won't mess around with that till the final world. Don't need to worry about the warp. Anyway, so we'll continue from 550. We'll probably watch this run play out. It should be the last one needed. Then we'll probably end up doing a couple grind runs just to get our gold to upgrade a few things before we move on to the to World 7. We should have more than enough damage to deal with everything. 400 to 600, 200. Between this guy and those two. Pretty decent. They have no problem getting to 600. 
just whether or not the boss has some mechanic to just completely stomp us.
We're almost there. But I don't think we'll have the mana. So it's whether or not we have the damage output to deal with the boss. Good luck get lucky. Get a healing fairy right at the end here. I doubt it. Yeah, this next four pod is just going to eat through our mana. Get lucky with the crits. And we have to heal once. But no mana to heal on the boss. I don't think we've come prepared. One shot. Ah, yeah, so it is all back tax. Yeah. We can't. No, it's great out. Uh, at least we can heal you up since you're our main damage dealer. You might have to damage. No. You attack twice in a row. We'll see if we can manage. And always group attacks. Well, I think it's doable. Especially because we got another star gem. Uh, we need a nurse. Still want the damage dealing. Huntress. Uh, don't need to worry about the thief anymore. Grab ourselves our Blade Masters. Although they might not have enough HP. We'll see if we can work around it. We need the damage. How many more axes do I have? This one? Yeah. This is damage reflection. This is damage reduction. But everyone needs some Skull Blades. In fact, I might swap your second one out just for a skull blade. So our damage is going to tank. But we really just want... Wish we had more of them. Uh, we just want as much damage reduction as possible. That way, hopefully, since we can start at uh, 10 from the boss, 590 or whatever, we can just out heal everything. Any of these give damage reduction? No, that's right. We should be able to do it without the proper trinket. The turtle shell. As long as we avoid getting one turn, not really two shot, we'll be fine. Where's the most HP? These guys need more HP. Armor, armor. I have my doubts that we'll pull through. We'll see. It's reflection, we don't care about reflection. Two star gems. So both of you guys can have the star gems. We don't need the mana at this point. Grab evasion, maybe? We'll chuck on reflection. Hopefully you can survive the majority of the fight. Make use of that. So our damage reduction is about 25%. Most things, yeah? Yeah. Hopefully it's enough. Probably come back once we're at the boss again. Right. So my hope is we can out heal the damage. As long as we don't get one shot. Perfect. No, that was nowhere near enough healing. Why was that so little? Uh, 
Well, there goes that plan. It seems like we need at least three of those trinkets. Or put a nurse on this side. Right. Try again. Right. This comp should do it. We should be able to out heal with two nurses now. We lost one. Right. As long as the nurses survive. Nope. It's just a little bit off. That's unfortunate. And probably don't have the damage either. Just a little bit more health on the nurses. It's not gonna do it, is it? Nah. Alright. Take three, I guess. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is the one this time. We've got the left side, which is completely tanky. I'm pretty sure the Blade Master is just gonna die. But our two nurses are huge. And then the other side is damage focused. In fact, the Blade Master lived that round. That's good. Ah, uh, alright. I understand the issue. The nurses don't turn around. Well, it shouldn't matter. They should have enough HP to heal through. They don't turn around unless they attack. We should be able to manage, though. 120. Yeah, damn it. The two nurses need to be on the other side, but then I need to have units tanky enough. Hmm. Might have done enough damage this time around, though. We'll see. Go another round of hits. Come on. Come on, please. God damn it. One more try. So, slight issue, but hopefully this is the one that plays around the boss. So obviously we're not going to the fight full health, and the Huntress has the Poison Dot. But hopefully this should be enough to do it. Just hoping there's no way the boss changes attack direction. So he did compromise a little bit of the damage, uh, to give the majority of them the skull blades for the damage reduction. We should be able to heal through the fight now. Simple in the end, I wish I had given it some thought, but oh well. You run off to another world. Right, who are we talking to? You first. Sticking with us still though. So he's going to take over the next dimension from the sounds of that. Get the portal open. There's a few errands we wanna sort of run on this world before we move on. 
So, upgrades that we want to get to. Hopefully in the future, cats to seems great if you could get to it. The 1% crit chance could be obviously better. Nothing else. So, we want to get this, so we need 500k for that. Do we have anything left to build? We have the well. We should probably get, so 350 for that, so 850. And to have an upgrade. So we definitely want the, the coat hanger. So, 1100. 13, probably around 1500 is the goal. To that point, we could probably go for this as well. So 2.5. Yeesh. Uh, so we're probably just going to turn auto on. And fairly simple. We want comps that should last. The nurse, mystic. Uh, is there any more mystics? Nope. Mystic. Mystic. A thief. And the huntress. So we should be able to get pretty far thanks to the mystics. Uh, mana regen. Looks almost right. We also want to maximize gold. So I really wish we had the coat hanger so we could save the loadout Y. Oh, evasion, I guess, for longevity. You guys should be like this. Yeah, I, I really wish we had the the coat hanger unlocked. Then I could just go back to one, put auto on, type in 600 to get to 400 maybe? Oh, 500. See how much gold we got. Should swap back to the pug as well. Okay, five, recharge. So we'll probably mess around with the scripts a bit more in the next one, since there's a lot of things we can work on. So 200k from that. We didn't even maximize profit. We grab the pug again. Where are you at? You're at 6%. I also want to watch this. So 222 to see if it ups or not. Nurse, Mystic, 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 Huntress, Thief. You guys really need gold shields. Uh, you do AoE mostly. Ooh, you have lots of these. Gems too. So much finicky stuff. We'll just stick with that. We'll see if we get much more gold. Oh, interesting. We can continue past 600, apparently. Without going to the next one? Didn't know you could. Either way, we're just farming gold. 501. Do we get more than, uh, was it 120 from the last one? Or 200 and something? Oh. 400k. Awesome. Just by maximizing the gold. So, at this point, we can definitely grab this. You probably grab this. How many tokens do we have left? I really wish you could just look. I could plan a bit better. Yes. Mystic. Mystic. Go on, where's the third mystic? Oh yeah. Thief. They want to show themselves. Right, so since we have the coat hanger, I'm not sure where you save. Ah, uh, down here. We can go ahead and do that. So I'll set up all the equipment for farming properly. Right, so we're just going for maximum gold. Oh, we could even save it. Yeah. Perfect. And we'll probably start from... Probably 200. And we try to maximize credit to gold. We'll give it a go. 
So 412. But do we beat the gold record is the bigger question. Two hundred and eighty seven. But I think it was about half the the amount of tokens. It was pretty decent. Anyway, I'm probably just gonna grind out the rest of the gold. And then I'll head to World 7. Probably in the next one. So we'll leave it here. Thanks for watching. See ya!